Today, you'll learn how to create your buyer personas in HubSpot to organize your customers' needs, goals, and behavior patterns at a glance. Next, I'll explain how you can automatically assign contacts to a persona. Superhacks, the HubSpot expert. Presented by WPWA Digital. First, you open your HubSpot account and go to the main navigation bar to click on the little gear icon in the top right corner to get to the settings. Now, when you click on properties in the sidebar, you should see the contact properties by default. If that's not the case, you can easily click on contact properties where it says select object. Now you can search for persona in the search bar and select persona. Now you see the personas that have already been created and you can choose to add or edit them. For this video, we'll select add persona. Now you can fill in the fields with your information that applies to your target audience. The fields marked with an asterisk are required fields and are needed by HubSpot to save the persona. You can add a suitable image up here and fill in all the other information. Once you've entered all your information, you can save it here. Here's a persona. Edit or delete it as needed. If you want to edit these, you can select Edit here and change your information before saving it again. To delete your personas, you can select Delete down here in the bottom right and then confirm the deletion. HubSpot lets you automate your personas in workflows. You can easily assign your contacts to the respective persona. To do this, you first need to select Automate on the left and click on Workflows. Now you can create a new workflow or edit an existing one. I'll show you how to link that with the persona using this example workflow. This workflow is an automation that assigns contacts to a persona based on certain properties. When you click on contact triggers, you can add different attributes. For that, you select different criteria. You can now filter by contacts and click on contact properties under categories. Now you can select your properties from this long list. For this example, we can use the category industry. In the drop down menu, you need to select your conditions before entering a value, like for example, the software industry. For property values, you can select contact under target objects. Click on Properties and select your respective persona from the drop-down menu. This means that contacts that meet the upper criteria, like for example, the software industry can be automatically assigned to this persona. And that's it. You have successfully created a persona, a HubSpot, and automated it using a workflow. Now you can use the persona for marketing campaigns and mailings. If you have more questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comments or visit our website to set up a personal conversation. Did you like the video? Show us some love with a like. If you don't want to miss anything, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell.